All right, this video is going to look at how we are going to use angle relationships to find unknown angles. Now, we're, this video is not going to talk so much about solving, but more focus on um, understanding how we can look at the situation, recognize the angle relationship, and that will lead us to finding the unknown angles. Okay. Before we start this off, let's just have a quick review. What does it mean for two angles to be complementary? Well, it means that there there's some measures to 90 degrees. Uh, if we know that angles C and D are complementary, what equation could you use to represent this angle relationship? Well, we could make the equation C plus D equals 90. So knowing that two angles are complementary, we can create the equation that those two angles equal 90 degrees. Uh, what does it mean for two angles to be supplementary? It means that there are some measures to 180 degrees. If you know that angles E and F are supplementary, what equation could you use to represent this angle relationship? Well, you can use the equation that E plus F equals 180. Knowing that those two angles add up to 180, you can create this number sentence or equation. Do supplementary or complementary angles need to be next to one another? No. As I talked about in some previous videos, uh, they do not need to be adjacent. You can have non-adjacent complementary angles and non-adjacent supplementary angles. Non-adjacent means they're not next to each other, but they still have that relationship of adding to a certain degree. For the supplementary, 180 for complementary, 90 degrees. What are vertical angles? Vertical angles are a pair of angles across one another where two lines cross. If you know that angles A and B are vertical, what equation could you use to represent this angle relationship? Well, you could use A equals B. Knowing that two angles are vertical means that they are going to be equivalent. So we can set them equal to each other. If you know two angles are complementary and you know the measure of one angle, how could you find the other angle? Well, you know that they're complementary. You know the measure of one. You can set up an equation by doing subtracting the angle you know from 90 degrees. If you know two angles are supplementary and you know the measure of one angle, how could you find the other? you could subtract the angle you know from 180. So we can now start to set equations so that we can solve for the unknown. What is true about the measures of vertical angles? The measures are always the same. If you know one, you know the other, okay? So if we just look at these situations, we have five situations. In each situation, I'm going to show you what equation or what understanding we can create with a number sentence or with an equation. So looking at A and B, I'm oh, sorry, looking at situation A, these are vertical to each other, so therefore G has to equal H. Looking at this one, these two angles make a straight line or 180 degrees when combined. Therefore, I know they are supplementary. So I can write the equation G plus H equals 180. Okay, looking at this situation here. Now in this situation, you're going to see uh, that there's a lot going on. Okay, but we can kind of use our understanding of all of this, of all, not all relationships, but I'd say at least two of them to get the answer. Okay, we can conclude that G plus H plus 35 equals 180. Well, this seems confusing, except we account for that this 35 degree angle here is vertical to this angle here. And if they are vertical to each other, they are the same. So if this angle is 35, this angle is 35 degrees, and then H plus this angle plus G makes one straight line, or 180, then G plus H plus 35 has to equal to 180. Okay, looking over here, we're going to use a combination for 
D. We can use a combination of our understanding of verticals and complementary angles. So looking at this right here, we have, or we can see that these three angles over here add up to 90 degrees because it forms a right angle. These three angles are complementary. And looking here, we can see that angle G and this angle over here are vertical to each other. And therefore, whatever the angle of the measure of angle G is, this would be the same. So this would also be G degrees. So if these three are 90 and these two are equal, we can conclude that 2H plus G is 90 degrees. We have H plus H giving us 2H and G added to the 2H giving us 90 degrees. And finally, this last one, we can see straight. So we know it's 180. We know that these three angles are supplementary. So we can just add all three together to get 180. So we can conclude then that G plus H plus 48 equals 180 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to look at five situations where we have Elena looks at the situation and Diego looks at the situation and they try to draw conclusions from what they understand. And then looking at each person's, we're going to decide who is correct. Okay. So Elena looks at this situation on the right and she concludes that X is 35 degrees. While Diego looks at the situation and says that X plus 35 is equal to 180. Well, who is correct? Well, let's look at the situation. So how Elena concludes that this is 35 degrees, I don't really know. So I'm going to kind of ignore that one for now. But with Diego, we can look at the situation and try to draw some conclusions about how he got there. So Diego looks at this and says, well, 35 and X together form one straight line angle. Okay. And one straight line angle is 180 degrees. So he concludes Therefore, that 35 plus x would equal 180, and he is correct. Okay, so he's looking at the situation, and he can see that this, this angle right here, all the way over, is 180 degrees. Okay? So that's how he's able to figure that out. Okay, looking at our next situation, Elena thinks that 35 plus W plus 41 is 180. Well, Diego thinks it's 35 plus W is 180. So looking at the situation, we see that there is our straight angle, which we know is 100 in 80 degrees and we can see that if we were to connect all three angles one two and three all three together 35 w and 41 make that one straight therefore elena is correct 35 plus the whatever the measure of w is plus 41 equals 180. Looking at our third situation, Elena thinks that W plus 35 equals 90. Well, Diego thinks that 2W plus 35 equals 90 degrees. Now, there is something missing from here that would help to prove it. And I'm just going to add that in by drawing it in, is that they would need to be a box here indicating that it is 90 degrees so that should be there so looking at that understanding we can see that w plus 35 make that right angle so elena is correct now technically there would also be another box this way 
but there's no proof of that with this setup. So we have to go with this setup, which I've added in the box. So therefore, Elaine is correct. But we can say that Diego is wrong because W plus 35 plus the another W would be way over the 90 degrees. So therefore, Elena is correct. Okay, so looking at our fourth situation, Elena believes that 2W plus 35 equals 90. Well, Diego thinks that W plus 35 equals 90. Well, looking at this situation here, we see the box. We know that that box indicates that these three angles form a right angle or 90 degrees. Okay, and we don't know this, but we can recognize that this angle and this angle are vertical. So this angle over here has to be 35 degrees as it is vertical and verticals are equal to each other. So we know that's 35 degrees. Okay. And then we know these are complementary. So W plus 35 plus another W would match up to Elena's equation, and that is what we find is the true answer. Okay, and for our fifth situation, Elena believes that W plus 148 is 180, while Diego thinks that X plus 90 is equal to 148. So look in the situation, uh, we have to kind of break down a lot to understand it. So let's look at each one first. Uh, w plus 148. Well, W here plus that 48 or 148 does seem to form a straight angle here. So we know that's 180. So Diego, I'm sorry, so Elena is correct. But let's look at the other way here. x plus 90, x plus 90 is 148. So what Diego is saying is that x plus all of this all the way to here is the same as this, that this whole thing is 148. Well, looking at these, we have the intersection of two lines. So we know that this angle here, that this and this whole thing is all together 148. So this is 148 degrees, this is 148 degrees. And we see there, that red, this marker here, the square that I'm marking red, that is 90 degrees plus this. So Diego is also correct. And what we can do now is, is we can apply their knowledge and actually find the answer to each one. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So both of them are correct. Elena and Diego are correct. And we can now use their knowledge to solve it out. So here's what you would see. You would see that W plus 148 equals 180. I would subtract 148 from both sides because I'm keeping balance on the equation. And then that would result in W equaling 32 degrees. Okay. Then look using Diego's. We know that X plus 90 is 148 degrees. Subtract 90 from both sides because we want to balance that equation. And we find out that X is 48 degrees. So there are more than one way to look at the situation and solve for the problems. Another thing we can consider later on is that W plus X is 90 degrees, but if we don't know either one of these, we can't conclude what each one is. So what we do is we use our knowledge of angle relationships to solve for each piece.